can make you feel timid and small But follow the truth And you know you can't miss A challenge won't throw you away Before you The stories will unfold And for you The light will shine ago, in the ancient kingdom of Aram, there lived a great warrior, a man who won every battle he ever fought and who conquered every city he ever entered. To his enemies, he was known as a fierce fighter. But to his countrymen, he was a beloved hero. He was a leader, a general, and a fearless victor of many wars. And yet his greatest enemy would soon be before him, his enemy of pride. This is his story, the story of Naaman and Elisha. You're home at last. Master Naaman has returned. And with hardly a scratch. But then again, no man or sword could ever harm you. Am I right, sir? You men must be hungry. Please, go inside. We've prepared a feast in your honor. Tell me, Naaman, are you still sick? I'm afraid, my dear, it's only gotten worse. <gasps> Whatever disease I have, it is spreading. That's it, team. Quick and efficient. Let's keep it moving. How's our new Little Bugs library coming? Oh, uh, hi, Mayor. Everything's coming along great. Although I did make a few tiny little changes to the plans you and Spud designed. Uh, how tiny? Well, you ever heard the phrase, bigger is better? How's the library coming? Bigger and better, right, Mayor? Bigger, yes. Yeah, but better? I'm not so sure. <laughs> the mayor's just a little nervous about some of the changes I made, but soon we'll have the best library Bugglesville's ever seen. What happened? It appears that the timber is incongruous to our undertaking. Huh? We're using the wrong wood. Oh. Spud's right. This is much too flimsy. I thought our instructions were to use hardwood only. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I meant to tell you that this was just another of my little changes. <laughs> Great. Now what do we do? Well, for starters, we get some stronger wood. And I know just the place. The hardwood forest just across the Great River. I'll go get it, Mayor Green. It's the least I could do. <laughs> I won't argue with that. Yeah, but this isn't a one-bug job. It's going to require teamwork to haul all that wood. Webster, Megan, Gina, why don't you go with Antony? <laughs> and please, take the kids. <sighs> they could use the exercise. You got it, Mayor. And don't worry. This time I'll make sure the group follows your instructions. <laughs> what? All the directions are written on this map, but whatever you do, don't stray from the path. It can get dangerous out there. Danger is my middle name. Now remember, work as a team. And when you get to the river, make sure to build a raft so you can float across to the forest. Are you sure a raft is really what we need, Mayor? It just seems so basic. <laughs> That's the idea. Simple and sturdy. Okay, if you say so. But you know I'm quite the craftsman. 
Oh, oh, yes, yes, I know. Your handiwork is becoming, uh, quite legendary. <laughs> I knew he was sick, but leprosy? It just seems so unfair. Don't worry, my lady. God has always looked out for Master Naaman. I'm sure this is all part of his plan. Is he going to live? I'm afraid it's bad. Very bad. General Naaman is a brave man, but no man has ever survived this. I'm sorry. Stop, Sasha. Don't come any closer. I don't want you to suffer like me. But the doctor said you're going to... I know. But we have to be brave. But I can't even touch you, Naaman. And the disease has no cure. If I may suggest, Master, I know of a cure. Cure? There's a man in Israel, my homeland, who can help you. He's a prophet who goes by the name Israel. of... Israel. I don't need their help. Are there no prophets here in Aram? My love, you need all the help you can get. You're dying. That may be, but I'd sooner die at the hands of my own people than strangers. Are you saying you're giving up? The brave General Naaman? This Hebrew prophet you speak of. Tell me, is he really so great? Indeed. His name is Elisha, and his wisdom is legendary. Very well. Prepare for the journey. We shall see whether this prophet is as great as you say he is. Check the map. You know, Megan, I know of a shortcut that you won't find on that map. That's great, Anthony. But Mayor Green's instructions were quite clear. Let's just stay on this course. Now, now, hear me out. What if I said I could get us there ten times faster, we wouldn't have to walk, and it'd be the thrill of your life? Then what would you say? Oh, let's do it! <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, no, that's a terrible idea. We can't do that. Look, Anthony, I want to get there as quickly as you do, but we have to trust Mayor Green. He's an authority on these things. But who says he's always right? Besides, when it comes to shortcuts, I'm an authority. <laughs> Anyone want to go for a ride? Woohoo! Let's, Let's roll! roll. Sorry, ladies, but all of my eight legs are killing me. I'm going with Anthony. <laughs> Yippee! Enjoy the long walk. And when you do finally get to the hardwood forest, we'll be there waiting for you. But, Anthony, we're supposed to be a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya. <sighs> Whee! Are we there yet? Huh? Are we there yet? Come on, Gina. We may get there slower, but we will get there. Uh, are you sure you know where we're going? Don't worry about it. The river and forest are just beyond those olive trees. Hold on! Yeah! This is mud. Ugh. All right, boy, let's get a move on. Samaria is just up the hill. Don't 
these Sumerians know who I am? They should be giving me a hero's welcome. Why aren't they cheering? Stop the caravan! We're here, Master Naaman. Home of the great Elisha. Where's the red carpet, or the lush gardens, or the ceremonial guards? Where's the palace? I'm afraid this is it. Elisha lives in there. I knew we never should have come here. Now, Moss, there's an interesting plant, because it only grows in moist places and it sticks to everything. Like that big fat rock. <gasps> it's just like the map says. Huh? <gasps> That's right. The big mossy rock. The great river's on the other side. We made it. Hmm, looks like we beat the boys here. So much for Antony's shortcut, eh? <laughs> I told him he should have listened to Mayor Green, but some bugs just want to do their own thing. So, shall we get started on the raft? No! But I'm sure we're getting closer. Well, at least I hope so. You've been saying that for hours. I knew leaving Mega and Gina was a bad idea. Then why did you join me? Because not walking sounded like a better idea, but now we're walking in circles. Why didn't you follow Mayor Green's directions? Hey, why go on the journey if you can't have some fun? You call this fun? Oh, never mind. Let's just keep hacking. Hiya! Yeah! May I help you? Yes. The great General Naaman of Aram is here to see Elisha. Of course, we've been expecting him. Wait here, please. The leper has arrived, sir. So I see. Shall I invite him in? No, that won't be necessary. Tell the general that if he wants to cure his leprosy, then he must go to the Jordan River and dip in the water seven times. But, sir, he's expecting to meet you. Don't you think he'll be offended if you don't even see him? That's not important. God has told me what Naaman must do, and now it is up to him to do it. Now, please, deliver the message. It is an honor, sir. Now that's a proper welcome. Thank you, Elisha. Actually, sir, I I'm not the prophet. I'm one of his disciples. What? Elisha has told me to give you a message. To cure your leprosy, you must dip in the Jordan River seven times. That's an insult. Who does your master think I am? A peasant? I'm sorry, sir, but if you wish to be cured, you must follow the prophet's words. May God be with you. That's it? The mighty Elisha is too good to even meet with me? If I may say, sir, God's help often comes from unexpected places. Yes, but the muddy Jordan River? I'd sooner bathe in the clean rivers of Damascus. Uh, but we've come so far. I don't care. If this is how I'm to be treated, I'd rather take my problem elsewhere. No! 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 Wake up, Naaman! Wake up! No, my lady. You can't touch him. His skin is infected. Quick, bring me some water and linens. Uh, what's going on? Where am I? It's okay, Master. We're here. The pain. It's unbearable. It's spreading through my legs. You can't go on like this. Your own pride is going to kill you. My pride is all I have left. What about me? This isn't about bravery, Naaman. It's about trust. It's true, sir. You should at least try what the Prophet said. He means well. Fine. Although I still have my doubts. Help me to my feet. the boys are. They should have made it here by now. Oh. Oh, I bet they're just waiting for us girls to do all the work. 
Probably. Wherever they are, I'm sure they're having a lot more fun than we are. I'll say, but something tells me that snake wasn't after us. He was headed to the water. It's the Great River. We made it. Okay, here's the deal, kids. I'm gonna need a hollow log, a curved bean sprout, and some moss and some cork. Now hop to it. You got it. If I make the vessel water and use the sprout... What's all this stuff for? I thought Peter Green said to build a simple graph. Boring. What I'm building will be ten times more exciting. But Mayor Green's an expert on these things. And so am I. Only I do it with a little more style. <laughs> Besides, what Mayor Green doesn't know won't hurt him. Yeah, but, but it can hurt us. Ow! See what I mean? This is humiliating. I can't believe I let you all talk me into this. A little humility never hurt anyone. Have some faith. In what? A Hebrew prophet who shunned me? For all I know, he could be a fake. He's not, sir. I assure you. But you have to believe. You have to try. You see the boys anywhere? You mean those lazy bugs? No, no sign of them yet. What on earth could they be doing? Okay, who wants to hop in first? I do! Me first! Oops, no more room. I guess my measurements were off. Oh! But that doesn't mean you kids can't take her for a spin. Yeah! Voyage! Nothing! This cure is a hoax! I was a fool to even listen to that so-called prophet! You're wrong, Naaman. It's the one who doesn't listen that's a fool. You've only dipped once. Keep going. <gasps> this is great! What a ride! This is terrible! I want off this ride! are in trouble. Quick, we gotta build a raft. I told you we should have listened to Mayor Green. No more. This water burns. I've been here long enough. You've only dipped six times. You have to do seven. Just one more. <gasps> like a newborn child's. I've been healed. And the best part is, I can finally hold you again, Sasha. Come here, my love. We're too young to die! Take that, you filthy fish! Breath, feed it. 
I tell you? While the girls work, the boys play. <laughs> Typical. I don't know why I ever doubted Elisha. He truly is wise. Why didn't I see that? Because you were blinded by pride. General Naaman, I present Elisha. Elisha! I'm sorry for doubting you. Please, allow me to pay you great riches to show my thanks. Rise. Do you think that I am God that you bow to me? It's not I you should thank. It's God and your willingness to listen to him. Rest assured, I won't ignore him again. Ah, so you have learned. It's time for you to return to your home, but please go in peace. That's a message I'll gladly obey. Don't be shy, Webster. Put some muscle into it. But getting lost was Anthony's fault. Why do I have to be tortured like this? Because you should have known better. And what do you have to say, mister? I should have known better, too. And? And I never should have ignored Mayor Green's instructions. I just wanted to show off how smart I was. I guess I still have lots to learn. That's okay, Anthony. We all do. Ah, oh, thanks, Megan. I'm sorry about all the trouble. I'm sorry to all of you guys. Apology accepted. And, to prove our trust, you can lead us back. But only if... <laughs> if I follow the directions, then believe me, I will. <laughs> Are we there yet? Huh? Are we there yet? Naaman returned to his kingdom a wiser and more humble man having learned that many times help can come in ways that are quite unexpected.